Hi, this is Edis, Instructional Innovation Trainer at Klamath Community College, and in this video I am going to go over how to use your options in Skype. If you have Skype automatically set to log in, or if you've already opened Skype for Business, you would go down here to the notification area, click on that, click on Skype for Business, and it will open. Actually, it's a double click. To get to options, you want to go to the gear. You can either click on the gear or you can click on the down arrow, go to tools and options. Either one will work. I'm going to go through the options here, which is the conversation window, help us improve, help your support team help you, and your application window. The conversation window has two options where you're going to reopen conversations when I sign in, and that is by default unchecked because Anytime you do an IM, a video call, or an audio call, that is going to be logged in Skype and saved as a conversation unless you delete it. Show call controls when Skype for Business is in the background. What this is for is if you have a meeting or you're in a video call or an audio call, but you want to go to a full page screen or you want to minimize them, you get a screen control. And what it looks like is this right here. I actually have a meeting going right at the moment. This is just a minimized version of Skype for Business and I can overlay it on anything that's on my desktop. So if I have a Word program open or uh, Excel and I'm trying to show something but I want to be able to still see how the call is doing, I can do that through here. I can also mute and hang up the call, which I'm going to do right now. So that was all helping them approve. That's up to you, but I don't ever do it. It's just a personal choice. Help your support team help you. So how do you want to log in? So one of the ways you can log in is off light or full. So you have different options. I always go to the full. That is the default for uh, Skype for Business as well. And then we can send troubleshooting information to our Windows event logging and that's what they mean by the support team. So if you have problems with logging in it actually shows error messages that the support team can use to help diagnose what's the problem. I don't always use it as you can tell. It is turned off by default but if you want to help the support team or if you do have a lot of problems, I would uh, recommend that you go ahead and check that. And then the application window, so that's where we find it down here in the navigation area. Is We're just going to put it there versus where it's showing up right here. And this is only showing up because I have uh, things happening in here. Personal. This is going to show you all the account information and how you can automatically sign in when you start up Windows every morning. This is the email address that Skype uses, so it is our ID number with at students.clamacc.edu. When you sign into Skype, you're going to use that address for that. Everything in here, you don't have to change it as a default again. If you sync your contact between Skype for Business and Exchange, if you have set up your Outlook to show both your KCC account and then your ID number KCC account, you can actually sync, you can actually sync up your student account to Skype for Business. And then if you have things in your calendar or want to be reminded of, of appointments or anything that are on that calendar, that will also pop up in this Skype for Business and Exchange. You cannot add your staff account at this time. This I do use if I have my calendar, and what's really nice about that is if you have your calendar on your ID numbers at student.clamacc.edu account, Skype will automatically show your status for you. It will look at your calendar and then change your status accordingly. Any of these other options you can use, uh, show my out of office info to contacts in my family, friends, work group and colleagues, privacy relationship. All that does is show a little purple dot next to your name showing that you're out of office. Again, these are all personal choices. You can save your IM conversations in my email conversation folder and that's right in here. So if I were to open this up here, I have conversation history. So as an actual folder, it will hold all your information there. Share my location information with all the other programs I use. That's up to you. It just, if you're perhaps using Microsoft Word, it may show you a way. It's by default checked. You can check it or uncheck it. And then you can show all pictures of your contacts. That's, again, a choice. But if you uncheck it, then you can't see yours. Contact list. You don't really have to change this. I would just say whatever works best for you. Status, the default is I want the system administrator to decide and go ahead and leave it at that. Otherwise, you're going to be, you're going to wind up having to change it 
if you are out of office. It's just easier just to let the system do it. Show me as soon as I disturb when I present my desktop. That's really convenient, especially when you're doing a class and you're meeting with students. There's always those pop-ups that happen down here. So this stops it from happening. And you can do that the same thing with do not disturb when my monitor is duplicated. And that just makes sense because if you're presenting on one monitor and the other, mo the other monitor is going to show that same exact information. You can upload your own picture, just edit or remove picture. Phones, you can add your phone numbers in here if you want to add them. Uh, mobile phone, you can do that. And, just, and then if you need TTY services, you can do that as well here. Alerts, these are all defaulted again. Where do you want to show it? So you have app actually different choices. I always put it down here because it is the default. I'm used to it there. You can also turn off uh, alerts or just showing alerts based on the status of a person when you're in do not disturb mode. Contacts not using Skype for business. I allow invites but block all other communications and I think that's the default as well. I leave this as the default because you can block any communication. So basically all you would get is an invite and then you can decide at that point whether you want to block them or not. Do not let everybody contact you because you will get a lot of spam. With this, you can leave it checked or unchecked. It's uh, just a safety precaution. IMing, you can actually do spell check as you type. If you're like me, you probably don't like autocorrect, but it is useful when you need it. And then you can change these on and off, whatever you would prefer to do. You can change your font so when it comes in, you can see it differently. You can show emoticons. Ringtones and sounds. This is really more for Skype for Business phone. You can change the ringtone just by clicking on it and it'll play it for you. Uh, it will work with video calls and audio calls too through Skype. Just pick one that you like. Audio devices, if you have more than one device, it will show up here and you can change which one you want. So if you have a webcam, you can change your microphone if you have multiple microphones. And where is the sound coming from is all this is. You can change your video device. Again, the same thing as audio. If I had a different video device, uh, it would show up here. You can see that I have one. And so if I was video conferencing with somebody, obviously I would have to change how it looks, but I can also make those changes right here where I can say that I wanted to uh, go in into the video device. You can change your camera if you have multiple cameras, front facing, back facing, have a webcam and a computer with a webcam included in it. However it works for you, this is where you would change it. And as you can see, my video is kind of dark. I do have tracking happening here, and that's because the camera is set up for that. But if I wanted to change those settings, I can go in here and change them here. File saving, all this does is tell you where you save your files. You can send and receive files through Skype for Business. You can change where to put your files. Right now, mine is going here, but if I want to save it to my OneDrive, which is usually where I like to save my information, I would go to my OneDrive here. I would select the folder that I want to save it into, so I will put it in my test folder. And now you can see that it's in my test folder, and I could just say OK, but I'm going to wait, because if I say OK, it closes the window. Same thing with recordings. I'm going to also put my recordings in that same folder. But again, you could put it in any folder that you would like to put it into. Here, for the image resolution, leave it at the 720p. Anything higher can put a strain on certain computers, so we don't want to do that. This is pretty much the standard anymore. It's just r about the right amount of quality that you would need for a video recording. And the Skype business, when I join meetings, can I just show the IM right away? Can I show the participant list? I'll go over meetings in another video, but I just kind of want to show that you can set this up. So perhaps you want to have IM automatically show when you go in. You can change that here as well as showing who else is in the participation of the video conference. How do you want to join audio? Skype for business, that's basically your computer. Or you can use your work phone number and call in. You can turn this on or off. Uh, at this time, it doesn't matter because basically we only have Skype for Business as an audio, but for future, I would just leave it on just because if things change, it's already set for that. And once I'm all done, I just click OK, and now all my settings have been saved. So if you have any other questions, comments, concerns, 
any feedback, please feel free to contact me. You can email me at warden at clownacc.edu. I am willing to Skype with you. My Skype is Edis Warden. Look for me in the directory. You can probably just find me and you will see that my address that's associated with my name is the ID number at students.clownacc.edu. You can call me. My extension is 340. Thank you and have a wonderful day.